Hello guys, Mr. Lawrence, Angel Lawrence back in the kitchen again today cooking up another storm and today we're going to be banging out a beautiful medium rare steak. It is Saturday people so we can't go to the restaurant so we have to bring the restaurant to us and I'm craving some fucking steak today. So without any further ado I'm going to let you know what's going to be in this um, steak that I'm doing today. So we're going to have um, obviously the steak season with a little olive oil, black pepper, uh, salt definitely, cook that medium rare, peppercorn sauce on the side um, with some mashed potato with a little bit of cream, salt, pepper uh, in that and we're going to have some creamy spinach as well on the side and then at the end of this you will see the wine that I'm going to pair with uh, this beautiful steak and also this is my friend over here hi guys she's busy cooking something amazing yes so i'll let she tell you what she's cooking it's called a uh, genovese it's kind of like um, a white version of bolognese so... so some bolognese is going on up in here some steak is going on up in here so let's get cooking got the potatoes on boil um, so while that is boil I'm gonna season the steak pop it in the fridge and um, go from there so just a quick run through ingredients we've got um, our spinach we've got olive oil butter freshly ground um, black pepper and some salt over here and some red wine and then I'm gonna do some um, uh, some vegetable stock to go into the peppercorn sauce. But for now, we are going to season the steak generously. Some black pepper on there, some salt. Beautiful. Then all you're going to do is rub that in. Yes, pack that in there. Turn that over. And do exactly the same. Black pepper on there. Some salt. Yes. Pack that in. And then we're just going to add just a little olive oil on there too much yet again and rub that in turn that over do exactly the same rub that in and then we're gonna pop this in the fridge for um, probably about 10-15 minutes take that out leave it to get to room temperature again and then we're ready to cook our steak peace so what we've got here is some vegetable stock. It's gonna pop that in there. Once the potatoes are finished, I'm gonna use that water to put on the stock so I can use that in the peppercorn uh, sauce as well. <laughs> so let's go and use make the stock for the um for the sauce. So I'm gonna do I'm just gonna pop these in there so there's too much, much. So that will, um, have just a little bit just that's the one that I'm going to crunch them so I don't want too much cooking going on with that so let's get this fire on beautiful so what we're going to do just going to add some olive oil a little bit of olive oil in there we've already got some um, on the steak already so let's just coat this pan up Back there, and um, so while that is eating a bit more, and nice and hot, it's much. Okay, we've got our garlic, three cloves of garlic just crushed. I haven't taken the skins off or anything, let's leave that in there. We've got our uh, freshly ground black pepper, um, our salt, and we've got some butter, so I'll take a little bit of that at a time so I can um, put on the steak. 
Um, then we've got some, um, this has been sitting in some uh, balsamic and um, uh, pepper, uh, black pepper. This is um, some little cherry tomatoes with a little bit of scallion on top. So I'm going to stick these in the oven, um, just very low temperature, um, just so they can slowly cook for the garnish for the steak. So let's pop that in there. Then we're going to get the steak in. So steak, get that bad boy. And we just gonna put that in like that. There we go. I'm just gonna get this and pass it down just a bit. Okay. So I think because it's a thin steak, so I'm just gonna give that a quick turn straight away. So red wine, just gonna put some red wine in here. Not too much, just to deglaze uh, the pan. Just to let that alcohol boil off. Salt. 
vegetable stock, you can use beef stock, um, whatever stock that you have. Not too much. I'm just going to add a little bit in there. Okay. So this is making the um, peppercorn sauce. So you're just going to let that cook down just a bit more and then you're going to add uh, the cream in there to give it that nice creamy uh, beautiful uh, texture. So I'm just going to add the cream. Uh, some cream in there that will cool it down a bit. What I'm going to do, these pepper um, garlics, just going to pop them back in there, the steak. Just to give that, that garlicky flavour as well. So that's the sauce, then I'm going to finish up um, with the mashed potato. I'm going to add some cream in there. Uh, uh, just to combine that cream, uh, the salt and pepper, and the little butter that's going there, just put it back on a low heat and um, you know, just give that a nice uh, mix together. Look for that beautiful mashed potato. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, that's what we want to see. All coming together like that. The pan is nice and clean. That's what we want to make a potato with the pan. It's all nice and clean like that. So what do you put in there? So once it's done, just do it like this. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is add this in here. A little touch of black pepper. Some salt on the spinach there. And then I'm just going to add some cream to it. Okay. It's going to be a nice creamy spinach. Okay. So I'm just going to leave that there for a minute. Turn the heat down. Very low. And let that simmer for um, 30 seconds or so. that is cooked oh look at that that is cooked absolutely perfect for me that is perfect like medium rare for me that is absolutely gorgeous so let's cut a little bit of that oh Let's try some of that with that peppercorn. Stop. Beautiful peppercorn sauce. 
Ồ. That is cook. Absolute perfection that is. Mm. And then if we come over here, we've got our creamy spinach. A little bit of salt, some um, black pepper in there, um, some cream, and just leave that um, for a little while just to cook down just a little bit. And I've got our mashed potato. Mmm, there's some cream in there, some some black pepper, um, salt, some butter, a little nub of butter and um, just put that back on the heat and just make that look absolutely beautiful yeah so the wine i have chose tonight and um, to go with beautiful dish is a 2018 tempranillo um this spain uh, from spain it is um 12.5% uh, alcohol um, it's not um, I had it open for a little while just to let it breathe um, it's not overpowering it won't overpower the steak um, it's a, a little bit dry I wouldn't go dry dry a little bit in the medium side of it um, there's a hint of fruitiness to it um, almost a block uh, black foresty uh, fruit This goes, will go absolutely perfect with this day cook perfectly medium rare the way that it's cooked. So guys, all I want to say is thank you very much for joining me this evening as I cook up another amazing dish in lockdown, you know what I mean? And I got the beautiful steak that is cooked beautifully, you know, as you can see. We've got some um, some peppercorn sauce, uh, some cream spinach over there, and some beautiful mashed potato over here, and a beautiful wine, uh, Tempranillo 2018. Absolutely fantastic. Some cherry tomatoes there, some garlic just to finish that off, a little bit of garnish from there. This little thing on there you can see is just some scallion um, that I just put on there just for uh, garnish. But yes, guys, if you enjoy um, these dishes that I do, please leave a comment down here. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and uh, let's enjoy cooking together. Um, you know, when time permits and we can go out and enjoy food outside in the other restaurants, let's do that. But in the meantime, thank you very much for um, hanging out with me while I'm cooking here at home. And beautiful meals so thank you very much and peace